my oh internet. Oh my god! Y'all's faces on my tits. <laughs> you are literally on your own tit. Where? Oh, yep. There and like, you too. Well, I yeah. I think I might. Everyone's kind of taking but... up the the produce department here. So <laughs> welcome. <laughs> and what a way welcome to welcome. To the <laughs> Episode. Like the, produce Ooh, the produce department. No, welcome to the produce department. Welcome to episode 47 of 21st Century Rocker Mom podcast. Look who stopped by. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hello. Hi. Surprise. <laughs> awesome. Love it. I was like, wow. I bet you can't guess. I was like, Fallon, I like, can't confirm or deny. So it's okay. Can't confirm or deny. So it's so okay. Can't confirm or deny. Just everybody just come. Let's have a cat party. Yeah. Like uh, the whole everybody coming together. Um, yeah. Probably not what. Well, maybe they would have thought. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just thought it'd be uh, fun. Everybody, everybody yeah. could, I mean, we, we, anybody we managed to do it once, like for a show. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, I mean, it was like a couple. It was a couple years ago. And like, that yeah. was in person. True. Yeah. That was in person. True. true. Very true. And it was, this is like, that's then. That's when that was. That's then, and this is now. Yeah, I had a baby in me the last time we played. It was show. five years Wild. ago. That is five know, that years ago next weird? year. Oh, what? I hate, I hate that. Get out of here. It's that's such awesome. a weird, a uh, weird thought. That's not, is it? Is that five years? Oh, five years yeah, in October next year. Yeah. 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 Oh my! Oh, oh. right. That's oh. God. That's yeah. Oh my God. Oh, that's 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 really funny. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like that's, that's Halloweeners. That's nuts. Like, yeah. I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm going to dress up as a rock star for Halloween. That's, <laughs> that's I even dress up. Did you guys do anything for Halloween? This Halloween? Uh, I uh, ignored children. You, you what? I ignored children. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> bing bong, bing bong. Um, I'm oh, trying to I'm I not can't even remember. I individually oh. wrapped candies and put them in different little bags and hung oh, them from places so they'd be distant so the little kids wouldn't like touch each other and so they wouldn't come to my door. And then my kids, the great pumpkin came and oh. the great pumpkin the pumpkin king. Hide. Yeah, the great pumpkin and king, the great pumpkin king. He comes and he hides shit all over the house and that all sounds, over the backyard. That sounds a little bit scary. Mm-mm, like, no. <laughs> The great pumpkin king. <laughs> Not as scary as the guy who's made out of ashes who lives in the shed. Oh, stop. But- <laughs> stop. And does he like come like uh, re uh, what do you call that? Reanimate? Combinate to reanimate yeah. to becoming a fi- Oh, stop. That's He's awful. like Hollow Man. He comes out of the fire pit no. if the kids oh, go to Hollow Man. Close. Remember no, that no, shit? No, no, no. Was that I have a picture? Bacon? Speaking, of, bacon speaking bacon. of the great pumpkin king, I have a picture of Morgan from like ages ago when we were in Europe and she's actually wearing a pumpkin on her head. A real one? <laughs> yeah. Like a full <laughs> jack-o'-lantern on my head. Was yeah. it was it for Halloween or just yeah yeah because yeah. you want to remember pumpkin but on your probably head. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I don't uh, I think I just carved pumpkins and I that also was it. yeah exactly. like yeah Mercedes came over and we carved pumpkins and that was it really it's like I didn't like quiet yeah, I didn't dress up and I turned the lights off and <laughs> pretended to be Mormon and just ignored, yeah, like, no, ignored no, the knocking. Okay. There wasn't a lot, though, because no, yeah, if you don't have a lot, lot of kids in your off. neighborhood, turn your lights off. You know what I mean? Like if, yeah. you, if they're just not there, like we have a shitload of kids that come to our neighborhood. Yeah. So I was like, mm. I don't want them all like trampling each other. I'm like, I also don't want them touching my fucking doorbell. I so had a like, kids too, but I just left candy. Close yeah. Nights. Yeah, yeah, you can do. You can leave candy out. You can put in clothes they, pegs. Some people got crazy and got like a shoot and shot it down the the, the way so kids could catch it. <laughs> I don't know. There's a yeah. there's something on my got street. a gun and a launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on my street tied little baggies uh, to all the like low hanging branches on the trees and was like, pick one. So it was oh, like smart. little Halloween baggies that like little kids can just go and like grab a bag or have their parents grab a little bag for them and like the candies inside the bag. Yeah. Cool if they put them just high enough so they couldn't reach. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking what about the people. I was thinking about short people because I was like thinking like, what if they can't reach? Because you're like their or their parents get it for them. Because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. 
little pin. They get this the stick, right? They get the, yeah. like the My hand. mom has one of those. You know what I use? I just use tongs. Yeah, tongs, like right? you get the real long ones and you just Yeah, you get the yeah. tongs and then Yeah, you can get things from the top cover. Mercedes, well, guess, you have this yeah. problem. I don't have this problem. You don't have that issue, but you know, I you mean, gotta man. the world is not made for short people. <laughs> yep. It's just not. I have and a- that's okay. I do I have, have a stool in my house, so I have a ladder mm-hmm. in my house. But yeah, that, but that's I for don't... like getting on the roof to do things, though, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do a Unless, lot of like I mean, construction like things like that require a ladder. Like you're gonna have to like get up in the attic, so yeah. you can't just fly up there. I mean, it would be cool if I could fly up there. That would make things a lot better. Also, I feel like if I could fly, I would probably be rich. Yeah. Really. I- yeah, so like fly I mean, if I was in- the only person in the world that could fly, I feel like people would pay me a lot of money to do it. Oh, likely people would pay to you a lot of money like to do heists it. or something like I need you to fly into the <laughs> World Bank. And but wait, no, if you can't fly into it, you have to fly through it. Through yeah, the- well, I mean, I'm, I'm figuring that if I can fly, I can also, you know, probably do other superhuman things. Oh, right? OK. So people but the, are, the money how, is coming from the fact that you're being paid by someone to do it. Yeah, yeah. I like, I see motherfucker. Come on, I'm yeah. all the way up here. <laughs> I but are you, also, are you also immortal? Because what happens yeah. if you get shot? I know that was not like a play on a kitty song. Like, actually, but, are you immortal? But, <laughs> if, okay, wait. No, if, she, <laughs> if, Terrible if that's the case, then joke. it would just go right through her, wouldn't it? I don't know, man. You know what? I feel like, are we writing a comic book? Right <laughs> We're writing, a, <laughs> writing something right now. <laughs> We're going to put it in all the squares. This is like what my kids do. They like make comic up books up about stuff that they have no idea about. Like they make comic books up about Squid Game. They've never oh, seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, I haven't seen it either. Well, my seven-year-old certainly fucking hasn't. It's there, Yeah, I, there's some there's some gore. It's pretty gory. Some. And how does he... He yeah. knows. How does he know about it then? Because all the video games on the little kid's cell phone, when you go to download them, all the little avatars look like the people from Squid Game. So they just are the, the little characters and they're cute, but they each have the little triangles on their faces or the circles or the or the mm. squares or whatever. And he like draws them. I'm like, where did you learn how to draw those? He's like, it's the people from Squid Game. I'm like, you're not wrong. I saw one scene from that movie or show or whatever it is. Somebody from yeah. work sent me at like a, a meme of it when they're doing the red light, green light thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I need to see this, but then I just never watched it. Yeah, yeah well, I have think it's good. It's also kind of like Battle Royale already. So you right? can that's that what first. I said. Yeah, yeah. You, found, you said it a couple times. It's like it's almost like the same thing as the film. Yeah, it's like it's a, a similar concept where it's like people right to the death mysteriously kind of. end up at a place where there's a game that the only one person can live and they are the winner kind of yeah. thing. So. Battle Royale is a fucking amazing movie. Yes, though. yes. It, it's, it's, it it's been so long since I've so seen it, and I'm like, I have it saved like on on Tubi just to be like, you know what, I need to revisit it because it's been a long time. I like. That. I have mm. a pirated copy I bought in China. <gasps> <laughs> a pirated co- a pirate's life for me what it, it's literally i i can show it to you yo it's, it's, you have it it's the best is it like one it. of the ones where it's like it's like the printed cover yes oh my look at it. It incredible like i have a few you, like if you're Weird. in Detroit and you go to like the 7-eleven and like yes. there's like you know like they've got a like a bin of cds and dvds yeah, yeah. they're all like printed and like yeah. yeah oh yeah oh look at it oh yeah it's like the and oh, it's printed yeah. and then i got that one too i like oh. that that's and awesome look, oh Ichi. those look good yeah and you know it, what those... I, none of it is in english but that's, that's okay. okay yeah you, you don't nice need to understand items. it i think i, you I know got what? that in like who needs english like Three? Anytime you're like anywhere weird, you're at, like at a festival or you're at like a convention or you're at like a like a fan, like a, a fan expo, you can always pick up those like cool like items. I remember was specifically us playing one festival one time way back in the day, and I picked up these CDs and 
what they were 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 they look like a burn CD because they look shitty and they looked like really 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 it's like low budget really, but they were like sexual sounds of the night and yeah. all they were <laughs> was different That's orgasms for languages do you, do you remember, remember them that. yes I there was like a German that. guy doing an orgasm <laughs> and like 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 different guys in different languages doing having orgasms I know I know you know what it's kind of coming back to me now we were listening to it on the fucking Winnebagoo. And yeah. We, yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. That's funny. <laughs> and the yeah, German guy would be like, have it? Do yeah. you still have it? Do you still have it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope oh, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's something that oh, you should yeah. do. I would, That's I, would, good, yeah. I would love to hear that again. Oh, I, I distinctly so remember good. us playing it for Chris Teeter for like the first time he ever. Oh, yeah. Well, not the first time he ever met us, but like. Yeah. Pretty Close. early on in our relationship, like yeah. here, listen. It would have been this. early. Like we had no filter at all, no what shade, the nothing. Fuck mm. is wrong with what these is kids? Wrong with you people. Mm. So who are you dating? Who are you dating? Tell us. Tell us who are you dating. <laughs> who are you dating? Who's your girlfriend? Who's your girlfriend? Who's your girlfriend? What's your name? Like, What's her name? Tell us her name. <laughs> so, so two. 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 No, no. <laughs> two is Louis. It's like one night. It's like I think I saw. Someone that like, uh, like La Grunie, uh, La La Grunie, 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 Grunie. He was a. We always listened to some French music. There's always French music going on when we were hanging French. around. I love French music too. I, I like the Blondie French. music they're, in they're French. Crazy bunch. All of Quebec. Oh, I uh, on TikTok, I get a lot of French TikToks for some reason. I yeah, you know what? I don't know they, why that is. I mean, the French, they love metal. They're, they're, yep. they're a wild bunch for sure. True. There's yeah. some serious, like, like there are a lot of festivals like in Montreal, especially where uh, there's a lot of like headbanger festivals. Like, yeah, yeah. And like tons of like, amazing bands come from Montreal as well. Like oh, just, totally. I mean, tons of amazing musicians. It's just like, yeah, the French. You know what's up there, man? Montreal is mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. Great it's food. a hub hub oh yeah super good food oh my god that like that's one city where you can eat really well because it's mm. kind of like a little bit of like europe but like here which is nice yeah, yeah actually you know what's really funny is um one of the last times that i was in montreal because I, I went to record with car chaos a couple months ago but the time before that like right before the pandemic before uh, everything closed down you're there yeah I was doing some pre-production there and Justine and I were like at the studio for like a really long time. It was super late. And so we ended up going to this all you can eat uh, like vegan buffet after like, right before it was close about to close. And so they were like, if you're hungry, order everything that you want right now. And so we oh went crazy, God. you know, like, sign, like, you know, taking off all these things and we started eating, they f- brought our food and then they just kept bringing it. And more. <laughs> like we went too crazy and we were full and it ended up that we were like taking her backpack and putting like broccoli in it and then then throwing it in the garbage (laughs) and like she had like a thermos and we were just like filling it with stuff and like politely going to the bathroom and like dumping it into the garbage they charge you not you have to eat if you don't eat it and yeah and we were just like like, dying by the end but crying and laughing because we just kept going (laughs) to the bathroom and throwing all this food out because we just couldn't eat it but the food is amazing yeah. they said order all you want yeah well i knew they were going to be closing the kitchen right away so it's like well, well if we're hungry you gotta get it in right now yeah. they warned in. you mm-hmm. get, get it in i mean they gotta get it in get it on yeah mm-hmm. 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 i have not been to montreal in a little while it's been a while it's been a while montreal big time I but i would in, but my back went out on me so. i say you were kind of i was uh i couldn't walk more than like two steps without having to lay down again <laughs> oh god at least that you're works. in the right position for getting better, <laughs> getting better. <laughs> yeah that's that's where your mind or, goes is that how you get better tanya <laughs> <laughs> that's my therapeutic uh yeah, yeah. My back's okay. just fine. Thank you very much. Air recovery <laughs> position. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you can't, when you can't move, <laughs> you can still, you can still groove. I'm not just, I'm just saying. I remember the last time I was there. <laughs> I'm going to ask you right now: if each of you had to pick a Spice Girl, oh, well, I'm using Spice. 
which Spice Girl would you would be or to why? Be or who, in what relation are we talking about? Yeah. Like, I, I would be all Spice because. <laughs> oh, are we creating Spices right yeah, now? you just make oh, your own okay. damn Spice Girl. I don't care. Oh. I would be all Spice because obviously I'm just a little bit of everything. Just all mixed all in there. But Clovey. I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm grumpy I'm Spice. Bit, <laughs> grumpy Spice. <laughs> You're grumpy spice like the dwarf, like grumpy, <laughs> like grumpy yeah. dwarf, like doc, happy, dopey. Yeah, except spice. So I'm See, a spice we... girl. <laughs> I love it. I actually love it. Uh, grumpy spice. I can't even. I'm Tell like what's spi- bag? I don't know. <laughs> Not, Not Meg spice. spice. <laughs> Not Meg Spice. spice. We're gonna put you in cardamom some... spice. Not more. No, tastes great in. Tea Salties and savory cooking. Yeah. No, savory and sweet cooking and slightly True. spicy. Yeah, there you go. Mm, I'd be garlic all... plus. Oh, I love garlic, garlic spice. Plus. What? <laughs> garlic plus, you know, like the shaker with <laughs> like garlic and the extra herbs in it. That's oh, yeah, like amazing. the one step from plus McCormick's. Is really important though. It's gotta be garlic. Garlic, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> garlic I... spice. Garlic plus. <laughs> Plus, you know what? garlic powder spice yeah <laughs> oh my garlic god plus, extra plus yeah yeah the plus extra. is really important yeah extra don't forget maybe i yeah. change my mind and i would want to be chipotle mango because i have that one too yeah they're your little sweet little spicy yeah, yeah. a little sweet, so sweet mm-hmm. spice yeah. 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 I'm, a, I'm a lot spicy you're like i'm still gonna we're gonna be grumpy and no matter what anybody says fuck off i'm gonna be <laughs> grumpy so you know what i recently got a a, a question on tiktok that i i forgot about and i spaced and i didn't answer and it's probably best that like i didn't answer because it's probably a question left for like everybody and c- they can probably give their own individual like answer what yeah. is I, I get a lot of good energy on TikTok. That's why I think I like TikTok so much because everybody on there is so nice and there's no negative comments and there's no like trolling and there's no not yet. It's, it's, it's <laughs> not yet. Wait. You, go to, you, know, you go to conservative TikTok for that. Yeah. What's yeah. conservative TikTok? Oh, you don't go there. Conservative. Yeah, don't, don't go there. I'm not no. going. I'm not going. Yeah. But you it was want the positive stuff only. What's the yes, exactly. I, I give the good vibes. That's what I'm fucking all about. That's what I'm about giving love. the good vibes on Peace TikTok. And love. Mm. Yeah. What is the best fan encounter you've ever had? And I thought this would be a better question for everyone to have individually. Like, what's the best encounter you've ever had with a fan or the best, like the most positive experience you've ever had with a fan? Well, my mind um, only goes to the bad ones. I, I, I knew I saw your face actually <laughs> first. Oh, Here's like, my penis or <laughs> by some girl <laughs> on stage or piss crystals. Yeah, that what's girl. piss crystals? Oh, I know a girl that somebody that peed on my parents' car. Ah, oh, I'm she sorry. What she went she like, I went number, number yeah, one? in the park. Somebody lot. peed, what, yeah. This did I did not know. Day is like I didn't be on your mom and dad's car. I promise you, fucking did. I just I saw her. you. How did you? How did you? How did you get up in such a way and get yourself in such an orientation that you could piss on a you car? Need to pick your pants completely. Yeah. Well, I think like you know when you're like trying to like you know go around the cars in like a dark parking lot and you try to find one to go behind and pee because you're wasted. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. that's one thing but like that's That's different deliberate maybe getting up on a car like you're saying i guess it was the bottoms would have have to be removed in order not to piss on your pants correct um uh the logistics of peeing outside is are tough she was wearing a shirt and i don't know if she's wearing underwear Mm. yeah Mm. yeah Okay, so that was a best fan experience. <laughs> the best fan experience you had was um, when somebody pissed on your parents' car. Yeah. Um, oh man, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of like like good ones. I have a good one. I have a good okay. one. Um, what do you got? Do you one. remember? And I I feel like uh, I feel like Fallon, you might remember this person too. So um, back eight thousand years ago, there was this in at Harpo's in Detroit. There was. Uh, this girl who, and she was on our message board, 
And she snuck her sister, like little sister, who was like fucking like nine or 10, across state lines, like took her sister and to come see us. And her sister was like crying. She was so excited to see us. And we like let her on the bus. There's pictures of her. Like I can, like if I saw the picture. Yeah, if you saw the picture, like I can imagine the picture in my head. And I, I'm pretty sure it was at Harpo's. But anyway, so she was like crying and like then Harpo's wouldn't let her in because she was, I think they were like a like a 16 or 15 plus venue or something like that. But anyway, oh, that's garbage. She snuck her into the show. She watched from side stage, but she was um, and I can't remember her or her sister's name right now, which is weird for me because I remember that. You remember so. a lot. Um, but she, yeah, and like the, they were really good kids and the the older sister used to come to shows all the time um and then the the younger sister uh she would come every once in a while um because she was super young but yeah her like sister like broke her out and was like i'm taking you away from mom and dad. <laughs> like, broke her i'm taking you to your first metal show in the worst fucking neighborhood probably in the legit. Country. legit yeah so it's scary. scary it's a bit <laughs> It's a bit dodgy down by Harpo's. It's yeah, well, scary. the IROC's just down the street, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah, and the, yeah. the IROC. I mean, in the IROC, I danced in a cage. You do you did. remember that band? Yeah. I just remember I all I remember is the bathrooms, like the yeah. bathrooms. Oh my, sorry. The, like, the Nelson twins. The Nelson twins. Yeah. Like, bon Jovi. All, yeah. Yeah. Is my question is the IROC still oh, there? Crisco. Yeah, the Chris. Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. So the last time I went to the IROC, I went with Justin Shrink. Um, yeah. And I went to go see Kill Switch Engage there when they were still like a bar band. Solid. <laughs> wow. That'd be solid though. But to like see a small show like ago. that. Yeah. yeah. I feel like uh I feel like I need to know. Like I'm I'm like, should I Google it right Google now? It? Yeah, Go- I think you should Google it to see if it's still around. I want to know I'm if it curious. is. I really am. Because like there's pictures of Ted Nugent everywhere with like animals hanging. And then in the and bathroom, we played with we it's played with the open. weed band. We played with the band tonight. So it, it is at open. What? It's open. It's at midnight tonight. <gasps> still. Are we driving there, guys? Uh, oh my shit. Let me see Let's get some negative PCR tests and get the fuck over there. Holy <laughs> shit. Bro. That's incredible. I mean, I love- I mean, right. Right. We played with a band that was like they had a giant. Uh, 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 what, yeah. He, one of the guys was dressed, dressed like a as bong. a pa- paper. A ba- uh, yeah. A bong. Yeah, like and a bong a- outfit. Yeah. 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 There's a bong, ch- yeah but there's a bong guy, but there was a zigzag papers guy. Yeah. Zigzag papers. That's who yeah. it was. That's all, all I remember is just like the white. Yeah, dancing. Like, I'm pretty sure it was a bong guy. Too. You, yeah. There was a bong guy, but there was a bong guy and there was a papers guy. There was both. Like they were just yeah. everywhere. There were like people made out of paper mache, just smoking <laughs> and like all over the stage. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like we'd already uh, played our show. That wig that night. Yes. yes, you wore that blue wig that night. I did. So, yeah, you, yes, you did wear a blue wig that night. That was yeah. my like my wig phase. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting too. Like as I look at a lot of like the pictures from back in the day, and I it makes me laugh because we all fucking shared clothes so much. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. But can I can I just say I did a video on my YouTube channel where I was reacting to watching <laughs> Spit in Your Eye, and oh I had god. a little ticker at the top to see one particular shirt was worn by all of us. It, it, like throughout that entire thing. I'm like, oh my God, where <laughs> where is it? it? What shirt is it, it now? Oh, now she's wearing it on stage. Oh my God, that that shirt, the rock star shirt. Really? You should make it into a drinking. Wait, you should make it into it, a drinking the, game. The red was it, was it the red writing or the silver one? Silver, silver. Okay, I remember that one. There was one with red I, I, I think, too, but the silver one. And I have asked other people when you were kids, like when you were, you know, between 12 and whatever, did you share clothes with all your friends? They're like, no. I'm like, is that like a, uh, is, is, like is a, that an us thing? Yeah. That was well, not like unusual. Younger like people here. thing. I don't I think don't a lot of younger people I know are like really protective over their clothes. And they say that they don't share them with their friends. And they're just like, no, really? I'm like, because oh, yeah, like, there, like, there was definitely, there was definitely a lot of that. I feel yeah. like, yeah. 
like, like I think, early on yeah like there's, even when I there's, first met you Mercedes we were always like here you're wear this or like here's yeah, the shirt, or let's go I, like it was no big deal yeah Whatever. yeah like I I feel like I laugh so hard all the time because I'm like oh I thought that was my shirt and I'll like see you wearing it <laughs> you don't and, really know <laughs> like, I don't know I don't yeah. know uh but that's okay but, but nobody wore my shoes so <laughs> yeah. or, true. or mine yeah. <laughs> or no both of y'all <laughs> Mercedes and I are on our own shoe boats collectively landing yeah. our own fucking airplanes <laughs> <laughs> I say for for me I think the best fan encounter has been like collective that most like fans have become like friends, like people that I like trust, like in my life, like really good, like fans have become like close friends. And most of you guys know who I'm talking about, like people that we have on our like personal, like Facebooks and people that we talk to regularly. But a lot of people that came down for the reunion show in 2017, they came from all over the damn mm-hmm. place. Yeah. Like yeah. mad respect. That's what I think about the best fan encounter that like I could say that I can have is that kitty fans and as a whole collectively and every iteration of kitty kitty fans as a on a whole are awesome like fantastic always have been always like will be loyal and growing and growing (laughs) i'm Mm, learning yeah very very loyal and uh yeah and um very um protective I mm-hmm. think as well. Yeah. Of, of just like the band and, and that sort of thing, like willing to like, you know, you know, down the law. <laughs> yeah. Like to, you know, get into a fight about it or whatever, but yeah. It, People it's love to fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I always felt like we, we, a lot of our fans, like, there's a lot of us, a lot of the people, it's sort of like, you know, a collection of misfits, you know, Absolutely. like, yeah. Everybody, everybody of, fits in. Yeah, a lot of, uh, but yeah, like a lot of people that maybe, you know, didn't maybe feel like they fit in, in, you know, sure. certain aspects of society or whatever. And um, maybe our music just kind of helped to um, to make them feel like they had a place, you know, and we're just like, you know, collect, collect all those people and, and make them feel good about we themselves like, and i think that's a band really cool. we were like the band of outsiders that were the band for the outsiders yeah, yeah. well because we really so work because people were like what was high school like for you guys i'm like they're like you must have been so cool i'm like um no everybody made fun it's, of us yeah <laughs> like, i don't know that seems weird too because like yeah we were uh considered to be like the freaks right like majorly like we got we got in trouble at your high school morgan oh yeah we got in trouble big time oh yeah (laughs) does anybody want to explain that story yeah i think mrs house is dead now so we can talk about it yeah fuck that bitch was she a missus or was she a miss i mean mrs fallon oh our fallon are you a southpaw (laughs) fighting Fine um, words, Miss House. But yeah, so like that was one of our like earliest type shows. Like I'm pretty sure our obviously our first show was like called The Office, but like yes. I think it was like one of our first like gigs that we had done, and it was like a battle or like a talent show, I guess. It wasn't really even a battle of the bands because there was other stupid things going on. I'm pretty sure it was like but, a coffee house almost. Yeah, at my like, amp up, my high amped school. up. And so we were like, fuck this, we're going to play. And um, <laughs> so we did. We played. <laughs> we, I don't even think we got through an entire song. We, I we guess. We played so, the motherfucking shit of that coffee house. Yeah. So we just went up there and we did our thing and like, you know, just we're us. And um, I don't think it sat well with the staff and the people that. We started playing a corn song. I'm not going to say which song it was, but we started playing a corn song. Yeah. And they were not happy. They, I guess the school administrators had something against corn and new metal and life was not very peachy for them. Well, it was just like the word, right? Like saying yeah. that word and not knowing the context of what yeah. the song is actually about. Sure, like, yeah. That's very was jarring. That, do, to we really play, do we play that song? We yes, we did. did. 
We played the fuck out of it. I thought it was a trauma after a I thought it was a Deftone song. I thought we were playing. Traumatic, traumatic. Yeah, it was not a Deftone song. We we played Deftone songs a lot at like practices and stuff. I think when we were like jamming and stuff. But no, we we were definitely playing a corn song. And they we got only one that we could play in without having seven strings. I think that was probably yeah. had something to do with it. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think we actually played it in a different key. in like a weird tuning. We yeah. played it in a different key, like in, in yeah. the kitty key, which is let's drop C, but drop but C. Yeah, so I, and you know what? I, I don't remember it being about the song. I remember it being about the fact that Is she frozen? <laughs> 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 this is the longest pregnant pause in the year. Is perfect. Like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm <gonna> piss. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop. Make it stop. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay. okay. My, internet, internet. my internet died. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the point. Oh, you screenshot that. Oh my gosh. It was about. <laughs> And then like, you thought that you were like pregnant pause for a second. And I was like, is she frozen? <laughs> my internet connection is so fucking weird tonight i don't know what's going on like because i'm like in the office in the basement and it's like i'm you know also question <laughs> it's okay <laughs> probably like oh my gosh okay so let's take it let's take it anyway so you, as you were saying Morgan. yeah yeah um okay you can use that as something if you want a good clip i will um trust me yeah, so I remember it being more about the teachers and the like staff being concerned for our well-being uh, as girls that shouldn't be uh, doing that. And, like I remember Mm-mm. after things happened, you know, and they were like, "No, we're you're cut off." That like speak like the principal of the school was like we were concerned for your health like that was a phrase that i clearly remember them saying so it was a thing where where it was like oh well you know girls aren't supposed to do that you know they're not supposed to be angry or you know scream or rock out or flail around or like uh, express themselves and we were worried about you because so I was worried. like, are, we hurt? are you are you worried that we were going to hurt our vaginas on our instruments? <laughs> you know it's what? Also, I, really, I don't know, but that's what that's the the gist of what that's I the sh- like the yeah. bullshit excuse that they probably yeah. gave our parents. Right. Because yeah, our like parents that. were probably like, you know, our parents weren't going to take any shit at the time or like, why did you make our kids leave the stage at a coffee house? Like, what's wrong with you? Every kid should have their, their opportunity to have some expression, even if. It's yeah, like, exactly. Express yourself how you, know? you need to. We weren't doing anything wrong. But you know what? We ended up writing a song about it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they Who's laughing now can yeah. eat. Well, a <laughs> they dick. Probably, they're probably mostly dead. So <laughs> I'm guessing that Just Miss saying. House is long gone and I don't care. If she's Miss also, House One, she's Miss House Two, she's Miss House Three. This house is clear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. <laughs> but I wonder if it also has something to do with like, it, you know, they were upset or worried for our well-being and whatever. But it's also it was a pretty conservative school, and, and yeah, London yeah. as a whole is pretty conservative mm-hmm. as well. So yeah. it's a conservative that city, reaction. Yeah we weren't really like we were surprised but it's also like well we know being the like kind of weirdos that it that's mm-hmm. that's that, okay yeah we definitely place. wanted that reaction in all <laughs> honesty like certainly yeah. um, it wasn't we, bad no it wasn't i remember at the time being pissed off mm-hmm. yes and kind of at, afterwards it was just kind of like oh well you know what that's <laughs> that's that major just, clout yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like who else could say that? And like, I remember right before we went on, there were a bunch of girls dancing on tables. 
with like uh, in skirts and like and like belly tops. They were scantily clad. I yeah, was and I remember sure. they were they were uh, lip syncing to a uh, Spice Girl song, mm-hmm. yes, and I remember were. being like, "These fucking stupid bitches." Yeah. <laughs> and then and then like, but like, I just remember like that was like that was the defining moment that i was like i'm never going to that school by the way it's like yeah you're at a, but, you're at a ta- you're at a talent show so your talent is standing up on a table half naked lip syncing yeah, with the but, spice girls you see, you're not playing the, an instrument there's the double standard right it's like oh well we were concerned for the uh, health and well-being of these girls that are you know up there actually playing their instruments and have written a song and are you know like expressing themselves but like it's yep. okay to, to do the other thing, you know, yeah. when you're in high school too. I don't know. It's just like, you know, uh, we should all be allowed our freedom of expression, but like to choose one over the other. Angle, yeah. yeah. It's a little it's, bit more acceptable little, yeah. than the other. Like yeah. that kind of object- objectification is fine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah. But the other, no. So that, I think where things got a little. Exactly. Weird. Like the only thing is if I would be concerned for someone's health and welfare, if they're dancing on top of a table, not even They'll if they're fall. scantily clad, they might fall off. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. I fell off face once. It was cool. I fell on my head once. It was yeah. awesome. It was cool. It was the best. <laughs> yeah. Now, I want to ask you, uh, ladies, this serious question, because how things first start off and what are what our first what y'all's first impression of each other was or maybe your first impression of me i i know i don't know morgan if 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 you wanted a new baby coming into the house when you were a small child what was your first impression of mercedes (laughs) i was gonna say yeah like that's kind of uh different for mercedes and i you want to take it back to the old school i don't think i I don't think i have an impression of morgan because she was always there yeah (laughs) Your impression is she was just this presence that would yeah, never leave your you. Your impression is <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, you <laughs> bitch. Um, Tanya, uh, I don't, I, I vaguely recall, I think the first time that I met you. Yes. Uh, I remember the concert that we went to. Oh, I do too. The tea party concert. It was a tea party concert yeah, at Centennial at Hall. Hall. We can we could thank Jeff Martin for that. Yeah, thank I think that's the first time we met, right? <laughs> yes, well, I went. I went with Fa- Fallon and I went together. Correct? Yeah. And still have yeah, and then so <laughs> Mercedes and Fallon and I at that time were already playing together. Yeah, yeah you guys and, already had a yeah. you already had a band. Yeah, and so I guess we met you then, and I remember, but like I, I don't know, I've uh you're very similar to the same person that you were back in high school like you were always like um like I can remember my mom being like you know like where's she where's she, where's she learn how to talk like that I don't know where it comes from I just open no, my like, mouth yeah, and it comes you've always out been, like really like fast and quick uh witted and really funny you have like <laughs> this like but you were, have been a comedian ever since I knew you so sorry I- I think I'd been a performer since I was a little kid. I remember the first time, like, I came over to your guy's house, like, to, to come that. over. And I did the rainbow kid. socks. Yeah, because I came over to audition for Kitty. I'm like, oh, well. Rainbow socks. Never mind. Not the camel pants. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, camel pants. Camel pants came later, but you are absolutely right. Camel pants did come. They came to, <laughs> to many Doc occasions. Martin's uh, little medallion thing. That was like the old, like the first thing I remember about seeing you in the hallways at school was like, oh, she's wearing like a Doc Doc Martens thing. We can be friends. I'm like, yep, yeah, we can be friends. We can be friends. <laughs> yeah, and the, the white toque and the white toque. Oh my god, the pin on it. The uh, yeah, teenage head rest pin. heads the best. Fuck the yeah. rest heads the best. Yeah, it was a teenage head pin. That's exactly. Yeah. It was teenage head who came out yeah. of Toronto. I got the pin yeah. out of like my dad's sock drawer, yeah. like yeah. where he kept his his hash yeah. and like in the garage where he had his like fucking wood hash in pipe. The oh. Oh. In the garage, he's got his hash pipe. Weezer is now the band for every fucking divorced dad in the fucking world. I'm not <laughs> saying that they're not like good but when kids go to their dad's house every other weekend they listen to weezer a lot so i'm just saying like 
I think Foo Fighters <laughs> is also considered dad rock now too. Uh, what? Divor- divorce divorce dad rock though. Divorce dad <laughs> rock. There's married yeah. dad rock and there's divorce dad rock. Yeah, like I feel like they've graduated to that. And mm. like, to be frank, I've never listened to them past color and shape, but yeah, now they've become yeah. Oh, oh I am totally. Out. I am not in the Foo Fighters camp, I don't listen to a lot of them because I listen to a lot of like bands that don't like love them. Like I listen to like a lot of Rook Assault and I, I play, pay a lot of attention to like a musical politics. And I know that Dave Grohl completely ripped off Louise Post for a certain song. Fair. And Fair. so I I literally with can't I can't with good heart like listen to it. He completely like tracked over her vocals and completely ripped her off. I will Did send you guys this. Pardon? Did they date? Didn't they? Da- did they date? They lived together. They moved yeah, in together. They were yeah. in his post. Mm-hmm. They were quite close. Yeah. And oh. I respect her as a musician big time, hugely. Oh, so I good. can't with a good heart. I can't go there. I, the only thing I do like the Foo Fighters doing is when Dave Grohl goes back and forth with that little girl, Nandy, that drummer who yeah, kicks ass. She's great. She is phenomenal. So fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, Taylor Hawkins. I feel kind of like hmm, I feel he like he's like you know like he everybody's like oh yeah nice guy Dave Grohl blah 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 and he's always like trying to like empower musicians and be like oh yeah just get in the van and do it and it always just kind of makes me be like well it's kind of nobody easy has you to say right that like, kind of money you're like a megastar yeah like it's yeah. so easy yeah. for you to just be like yeah yeah oh yeah anybody can do it you know look at me. Yeah, was, you get in the van and do Nirvana, it. like there's only three people that were in that band and they're huge and one of them is dead you know what and i mean the other like, one's not doing so well deal. and then we have dave Grohl. like yeah so i a little i'm nice guy dave Grohl, sure but you know nice not everybody trademark. can just yeah. hop on the private jet slash van yeah. and it's go a on tour it's a different time dave yeah it's not easy man no, yeah. record companies don't give like <laughs> half a million dollar advances anymore. There isn't any tour support. There's just not no. that kind of thing. There's when the, you do have a tour, there's startup costs and there's things incorporated with it and and all that stuff. Not that it's, that's not fun. Become and that's a not a rapper. Become a yeah. SoundCloud rapper. Yeah. SoundCloud that's rapper. that's where the money is, man. Trap music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said something about a crapper and I was <laughs> <laughs> You know, sit on the crapper. Yeah, crapper. <laughs> there are people like that. Um, I heard about WikiFeet. Um, now from two people. Yeah, yeah, I do you know what WikiFeet is? If you type in my name, the second thing that comes up is Mercedes Lander feet. <gasps> what? WikiFeet is a thing. Go and see if your your feet are on. Your feet's feet. on there now. Yes, yes, yes. Yasmina told me about it, and Cat mm-hmm. told me about it. They said yep. WikiFeet. Well, Cat said. She said I need to start a site called Only Feet because she knows that I like to barefoot it. <laughs> She's like, Only, Only feet. feet DMs in three, two, one. And then Yasmina said Wiki Feet. And I was like, Wiki Feet. I was like, Hobbit Feet. And then I looked up Wiki Feet and I was like, <gasps> Oh, I thought you didn't. I thought you would have known what that's it. Yeah. yeah. I'm on Wiki Feet. So, so we, uh, I have a couple people that message me regularly and offer me money for pictures of my feet. Do you do wow. it? No. That's Mercedes favorite fan experience. Yeah. What's your, <laughs> yeah. Tell us. Champagne uh, foot bath. Ooh. But like, I was literally like, you know what? Cause like they're really big. Yeah, so maybe there's a maybe there's a lane for me, you know. I can start yeah. an OnlyFans and put, like put edges with feet. my high arches. Dude, I have really large feet. Also, should we start a platform called Only Feet? Do it. Yeah. Do we it. could give cat. We could give cat the finder's fee. I'm serious because yeah. she thought of that that like brilliant like only feet phrase. And just put feet up there, only feet. And it could be people just okay. watching people walking all day, feet sweating. Because some people like for only yeah, feet. Yeah, you need to pay. It's, it has to be paywalled. And yeah, then absolutely. You, you can sort by whatever you're looking for. Tan yeah, what feet, you're into. Like, feet, what you're, you want Hobbit your feet, feet to be doing. 
Like, do yeah. you want your feet like squishing grapes? Do you oh, want your yeah. feet like, like in like cottage cheese sloshing around? Like, yeah. what if somebody <laughs> wants your bare feet stepping <laughs> dog shit? Well, I think that would be the like a very specific <laughs> section. Yeah, I'd be like, that's like that's like just take fart section yeah, of of true. only feet. <laughs> like, I mean, you could just wash it off after, or yeah. you can just use something that looks like. Who? Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, like OnlyFans. So, like, I mean, like, if you have a paid subscription and you pay somebody like a, a monthly fee, you get special videos. And like what kind of special videos? Like, you know, on OnlyFans. Now, yeah. I'm only saying this because I know <laughs> I know somebody <laughs> that's just saying. OnlyFans. But like, yeah. But yeah. So I'm totally. I'm down. Let's let's do it. OnlyFeet.com. Only Done. feet. I, I would do only feet. My feet. I go out in them barefoot every day. I don't care if it's snowing. I don't care if it's raining. I don't give a fuck. I go into the woods like a little <laughs> hobbit that I am. And I give a barefoot run. And it wakes I mean, me up. Connecting so, to the earth. It's good. Sounds like the first but- <laughs> oh, I'm OK. Everything else. Everything else is covered. And then I, I come home. And I take the hottest bubble path that I can possible. Nice. Syrup. I'm fine. I'm looking forward Syrup to a lifetime. We don't need. I'm, I'm looking forward to a lifetime of arthritis in my feet. Hmm. That's exactly what I'm doing. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. You're fine. You don't want that. Oh, I think it's fine. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're fine. No, I'm telling you the first, I think some of the first impressions I've had you, I, mean, I had of you guys was coming over to your house. The first time we're going to Mercedes to come try out for the band when I only had a bass but I didn't have like a amp or anything like that. So I played through your parents' stereo. Yeah. Um, I remember didn't that. You have, didn't you have, um, didn't you have, you borrowed Abby's bass for the first practice. I remember. Little, you I did. I had her white bass for the first practice. And then so I waited. That was red. No, it was, it was white. And then after Christmas, my dad bought me a bass and that's when I got the pink bass. He's and then, of, and then I was using like a, his PV guitar amp. Mm-hmm. To like drive it through, and that's not smart. No, uh, and then you used the karaoke machine for a while, did you not? Yes, <laughs> the karaoke machine. Your dad plugged me through the karaoke machine, and like we had a microphone hanging from the fucking yeah. ceiling. The ceiling. Yeah. Oh my god! I think you still have some of those tapes, eh, Tanya? Still I do. Have some of those tapes. I do. I know they exist. I think there's some there, around here as well. There's yeah. a. It's a lot of screaming. And laugh, but it, they're 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 great. Like I wouldn't put them out, but between the four of us, I'd be like, let's have a listening party. Yeah, no, oh I, would be, yeah, I, would for that. I have a ton of stuff that I it's just like sitting in envelopes and stuff. So, oh, good god, I can only imagine what it is. Like, Feeling the tapes to ourselves to like copyright them. copyright yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> The old school way, and now anyone can just rip you off, and it doesn't fucking matter because no idea is original. Those put it on the internet; it's owned by everybody. (laughs) Yeah, totally. You can't, you can't win, even if it is owned by somebody. It's owned by the world. Yeah, Yeah. that's who it's owned by, and it's gonna gather. I I, I gather it's gonna grow legs and and probably likely move. If it's Mm -hmm. on the internet, it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. And Mercedes, I saw that you commented on my Instagram the other day Uh-oh. that uh, that uh, <laughs> I likely about a, about a picture of a condom someone had posted on their Instagram page. And it was a picture of you and I. And I think we were like at Edge Fest or something. We went to go see Hole or, yeah. or it was one of those fests. And you just got your tongue pierced. And oh, yes. we saw the Durex condom guy. And Morgan, it was your friend who you went to school with, her dad was like the morning man in Toronto and his face yes. was on the front of the condom. Yes. And I still have the condom. And of course, Mercedes made a crack. It was like, I was like, I still have that condom. She's like, I bet you it wasn't used. <laughs> and all I said was, all that fucking latex allergy. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that's yeah. really funny. Um, I still oh, have that, that was- condom. That really, that's really funny. Yep. Yeah, I have so- to tell you guys something about that too. By the way, yeah. uh, do you remember um, when we first met Jason Weiner? He like gave yes. us like weird like condoms and was like, "Be safe and stuff." And he yeah, gave be careful. Us, 
he gave us a female condom. I still have it. <laughs> what? It looks yeah. like an upside down it's sock. My, it's in my purse. <laughs> like you it with you? right now. <laughs> Do you want me to? I can. Yes. I, Go I'm get the female sure. condom. I mean, I, it might have disintegrated. Like, <laughs> but, he it might, it, like go, go get this still, dinosaur condom. Go get this fossil. My, do you want me to go get it? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 hope, I hope I didn't throw it out. But OK, well, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for the like, female condom. They look like an upside down sock. I'll tell you, you would never catch my ass packing one. Well, they look ridiculous. Well, it's not yeah. made for your ass. Yeah. Well, you never catch my front packing one either. They're, they're squeaky, bum. I hear. <laughs> squeaky. They wouldn't put it. Yeah, it, I heard they're squeaky. Yeah. Like they're like, I, hey, I, I can't say I've ever used one. But you know what? I think it's really precious that Mercedes like still has it because I don't think she's carrying it around because you know like she thought she was ever going to use it but I feel like there's like a definitely a, a not sentimental, sentimental. With, yeah. with that whole scenario because that was like man what a magical time like it just seemed like, like it was so yeah everything was so like you know it, everything happened so fast and we met so many amazing people and like you know going to New York City for the first time together you know to like yeah. big label NG records and then like going to their office and it was literally like like a hole, but yeah. <laughs> time yeah. was like in a, a place, a tiny place in like an apartment building, but it was yeah. so exciting being like that young and being yeah. like kind of swept away, like mm. at that age with something that was like a hobby where we like jammed in the basement. Oh my yeah. God. So I actually <laughs> threw it out. I remember like, it's okay. oh, like last year I threw it out. Because it disintegrated in my purse. Oh my God. Well, I still have the dirt. I have the Durex one from the show and it's like oh. it's sitting in its package and I've put a picture of it on the internet. And yeah, I've never used it because like I say, I don't yeah. like going swimming with my clothes on. I don't know about you. <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> I'm not promoting anything here, kids. Be safe. But I'm just saying like I'm in a monogamous <laughs> relationship. Okay. I have like, measures under control to make sure that this body has no more children. That's weird. Good. We're we're good here. Good. Yeah. Two, <laughs> two, 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 two is perfect. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's it's perfect. I have two arms. Is true, but what you're saying, sorry, Tanya, to hold you. You're saying Morgan about how like I think from like when we played Nick's knee, yeah, from that point. And, like, <laughs> Seeing him sitting on this, like I have a very clear memory. I was dressed horribly. It's all I remember. <laughs> I'm wearing like a wig. I mean, were we all? Bad. We don't talk about yeah. that. Yeah, uh, but it was a different seeing time. Him sitting at the side, like, like listening to us, mm. and then getting up and just being like speechless. Yeah, and this yeah. is like an A and R wow. an A&R guy from New York. Like it's a big fucking deal, and he's like, I'm. Yeah, and that's like we're like, wow, cool, nice. Yeah, not even realizing cool. the gravity like, of what he's saying by not saying anything. Yeah, right? totally. He was blown away, and he was just like, "Hey, kitty, how's it going?" I'm like, "Uh, it's going good. It's going really good." He was, he was more than uh, like happy to like get his hotel like room ready and get like a conference chat for like us and our parents to go up to as fast as he could and like get us talking to the record company. Yeah. Oh. That's how it happens. Like now I think Winona Ryder how, froze. Does, how does that even happen? Like something like that <laughs> uh, sort of, like, viral on, oh. on Twitter or something or whatever. I don't know how, like what I don't know how that happens. That's soon. what happened to them. They went viral and then, you know, and they're, they're even younger than we are. We were, I know. I, I like, when Jason Weiner met us, like I say, like he was so, so quick to be like, well, bring your parents up to my hotel room. We'll just make a phone call. We'll talk to the record company. He's just like, hi, record company. This is Kitty. And of course, like I was like, let's get into the menu bar. And you guys are like, Tanya. Fuck. <laughs> that was also the weekend of Canadian Music Week farts. Oh, Wait, was it Nixon or was it CMW? CMW, yeah. It was CMW, CMW March, where we met. And I think, yeah, I think it was, it was, it was that March. 
of yeah, 99. Nixney was hot. He was June, I think. Yeah, it was warm. Oh, so it's Nixney. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was warm. Someone had farts, though, and they were terrible. But I remember at that particular uh, at CMW at the Western Harbor Castle, there was a fire drill and we had to come down from our rooms and we had to walk down those fucking winding stairs. Yeah. And it took a long time to walk down there. And we had sushi, like sushi. Well, you guys had like sushi university and we had some like curry and everybody had farts. I don't remember that. Everybody. Oh my God. <laughs> That hotel All room. I remember is just like being at a at a bar, standing at a bar, and then there being like these like band dudes hanging around or whatever. And they're all like, like yeah, so swiveling their brandy around. Douchey and real like. Bah. Do you remember? Do you guys remember when we played um, uh, the one in New York? The let's like CMW. The oh, uh, CMJ. North by North CMJ. 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 Does anyone yeah. remember play when we played CMJ? Yeah. Morgan, do you remember that? Mm, so we played a showcase we, there. We oh. yeah, that is also. I want to say the CMJ was us when we got lost in Brooklyn. Yes, it was. It was CMJ oh, 99. Was right, we got in that cab, and it was, was that the Nefren car. Yeah, that um, was also the same that time. That was the same yeah, experience. For a while, yeah, that was a wild, wild time. Like, what? <laughs> we went to New York for like, I don't know, like a month. It felt like a long time. I don't know how long it was. Maybe it was a week, but. No, it was like, it was over, it was over got, two or three weeks. Yeah, we got uh, invited to like industry parties and there's weird, David Duchovny was there. Yeah, <laughs> my mom fucking cut some random guy's hair off. She cut some guy's. It was like the bottom of his beard. He looked like an old, like wizard. Egyptian a wizard. Mon- he looked like a fucking yeah, wizard. He had long hair, and she snips his hair off with uh, nail scissors. And was and then had her first. Night. She's like, Catch the wizard. Oh my god! Catch the wizard's <laughs> hair. Touch the hair of Nefren Ka. Okay. I got drugged that night. I'm pretty and sure that there's something that they had fruit them, in the there was fruit, something the fruit. Spiked. Yeah, so yeah, it was a punch. Like, it was a punch. You yeah. guys didn't drink the punch, but I drank the Kool Aid that night for My sure. My mom did as well. I, I, I was messed the fuck up. I remember when we got back to the hotel because we had to take like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like great glass elevator up to like the 48th floor to get yeah. back into our room. And I called for room service and I want like a, I don't know, this is back when I ate meat. So I was like, I wanted like a chicken club or something. And the phone was like petting my face. I was like, <laughs> Oh the fuck was in that fruit <laughs> that's intense yeah no I, I think yeah i think everybody got spiked that like i i don't recall but my mom definitely did i know your mom remembers yeah i remember playing in the meat packing remembers. <laughs> i never caught remembers i uli with the the uli with the with the eye with the eyeballs remembers there's a guy at the record company his name was uli and he had these um, He's eye, but he had eyes too. He had contact lenses that were mirrors, and I couldn't look at him. And now I know it's because oh, I was on acid. Yeah. So that sounds super familiar to me. And I'm like, I can't remember exactly who that. Oh, I'll jog uh, your memory. I remember there was yeah. Uh, who else was at that party with us? I want to say Nick, Jason was there. So was Jason was there? Nick was there. Um. So was Sydney uh, was there. C man that I'm yeah, not gonna yeah. call. Yeah. 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 C man Kid, Kid Rock was there. Was Kid Rock there? No, he used well, to he call himself Kid album, Rock. Like, the year no, oh, no, but actually oh, um, oh, 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 okay, no, no. no he used to call this, himself uh, Kid Rock. This C-Man. guy, I think, was DJing. Yes. Yep. yep. The the Beastie Boys were there. There was uh, it was like a Tony and Tina makeup party. Makeup, yeah. 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 They gave us a lot yeah. of I still have uh, nail polish. I'm yeah. sure. From that company? They're good. Yeah. They're a good company. Yeah. But that was that was a crazy night. I just remember going back to the hotel after I just remember eating. I remember just ordering a bunch of room service and having a lot of food. And if that like time in New York was brought to you by anything, it would be brought to you by Zima. Oh, Zima. Zima. You know Did what? They still I was sell really, that in America. So okay, I 
it went out of, it went away and now it's back. So we're in luck. Yeah. We can get Zima <laughs> again if we want. I just remember the flavor of like the Zima was kind of like Oof. it reminds me of the vomit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pukey. It's like puke. With Maybe bubbles. it's just because I did some vomiting on Zima. Probably we all yeah. did, I'm sure. But that was like a funny thing. Like the first stop after the, we, you cross the border, we're like <laughs> Zima Land. Zima. Yeah, Zima Land. We go to the Zima Land. Go to the yeah. pop shop, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was kind of I don't know. Like uh, I guess it's like a clear malt beverage. It's like Crystal Pepsi type thing. Uh, absolutely yeah it had a weird flavor i remember but that was like something that teenagers would definitely want to drink like mike's hard lemonade type mike's thing. hard it, yeah it less, yeah like i think it was less um like sugary. less harsh yeah mm-hmm. uh but it was a definitely um uh a unique flavor one that i it went down easy and it got you really loaded i remember that yeah because it was definitely stronger than beer right like yes. it was made by beer companies but it was very strong like, yeah like i think it's like a malt five a malt. five or six yes even. yeah for a, for america that that's a strong that's a drink strong. i gotta like like i'm looking this up like can i order Zima <laughs> to my house like let's do this you know like, this right now let's party <clears throat> if you Zima. get Zima to your house i will i will probably die i will i will die I remember us like drinking in bars. Um, like oh, they didn't care. when we were in New York City. Like when when we were there, like for CMJ and like right before our show, we were at the Corova Milk Bar and we were drinking. Yep. Yeah. Yep, in the middle of the I day. There. I didn't go for some reason. I don't remember, but you're like, Yeah, we're going to the Corova Milk Bar. I'm like, what? I I remember being outside of it and then you guys coming out, but I don't remember being in there. Oh. I remember and Michael all the- Chambers was there. Yes. He was in there with you guys, I think. Yeah. We, they had a bunch of mannequins in there and their heads were all TV. It was very creepy. It was very, weird. It was supposed I to be based that. on Clockwork Orange, right? Or no? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think it was. Yeah. And that was so the day we went to bars and like I Local went to the places. Continental after. Mm-hmm. Yes. Re- semi recently. And I was so upset because it's a fucking sports bar now. Oh, yes. And like, it was like, so oh. tragic. There's like, so much that that place has so much like uh, just so much uh, energy, so much weight to it, you know, like, yeah. like, I mean, for us, obviously, that was like our first big New York show or like yeah. big yes. showcase. But like before before that, in the 70s, 80s, like tons of bands like Blondie played there, you know, all these the New York bands played there. Yeah, like, huge New York bands played. there. It's just like a long it was just like a long, long fucking room. A long didn't room. sound very good. No, but- you know, yeah, it's like a big ha- it was like a big hallway in essence. Yeah, yeah it was. The dressing room was in the basement too, and it was really yeah. creepy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And we were like, we were down there. That's we, we took some pictures. Yeah, they're like painted. We like took some pictures for like I think Rolling Stone or Spin or Alternative. It was Press Rolling Stone, and it's the photo that we are sitting with the guys from Skin Lab, and I'm pretty oh sure God. Mercedes has her like arm around what's his, the drummer there like she's got snake a in a headlock oh, yeah 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 it was snake yeah, <laughs> yeah so snake. somebody from skin lab is in a headlock and <laughs> yeah. yeah that was that that two week tour that we did in the states it was um, only two weeks yeah it was two weeks i know it, it feels like, like longer ever right it, yeah i think it was actually a little closer to three weeks but well so yeah not very it was like it skin wasn't lab like and pissing yeah. razors razors yeah. yes there were some tour dates though that we had and i remember this though because at one point they couldn't get over the border we had some tour dates with cannibal corpse some that we played and some that were with nile i remember that nile that was and we we played the milwaukee metal fest we played with like today is the day and the the misfits um at festival i still have the this like this the the flyer for it incredible a lot of fucking incredible bands incredible lineup wow Mm -hmm. There yeah. was, I remember we, we saw Danny Filth for the first time at that festival. I think that was, that was their was first high American height. performance. That was their first time in America. Did you know that? What? Yes. Yeah. That was the very first show that they ever did in the States in 1999. Yep. Yeah. I remember him we saw like around. we saw him going inside when we were in. Yeah. We were like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. There's Danny Filth. Around. Like, <laughs> creeping around. Holy yeah. shit. And then like, yeah. there was a band that like followed us around a lot. I'm not going to. 
<clears throat> I'm not going to say their name. <laughs> Yeah, I met Earth Crisis there, and I nearly had a fucking heart attack. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, fucking Earth yep. Crisis! That's so cool." I met the Misfits there. The Misfits, yeah, the misfits like, Neurosis, played. Neurosis. Today's the day played yeah. there. Like, like Relapse Records had its own room, and it was just all Relapse based. Like we saw yeah. Nausum play there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was <sighs> crazy. Like that, that was like, one of the yeah. Craziest set was there too. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Cephal Carnage, like Nile, like every relapse band from like the the late nineties that you could think of were all there at in playing in one, in one room, <laughs> like the relapse room. It was and one big. Uh, speaking of a uh, fan word, bloody knuckles. Maybe not my favorite one, but I still have. Remember oh, the God. guy <gasps> came up to us and was at, he was like, "Oh my God, you guys are so great!" And do 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 do. He was like mm. really really nice, crazy guy, whatever. He was, and we were, we had joked that I'm like, we'll even send you a, a, a like a maxi pad. Use maxi pad. Is that yeah. what you want? He's like, yes. He <laughs> writes his address on there and yeah. he gives it to me. I still have it. So, buddy, are you really? serious? Oh, that's you incredible. keep everything. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to tell about the guy who was like, hey, do your girls have an extra dollar for bus money? And we were like, sure, because we're nice people. <laughs> and then he pulled down his pants and showed us his. Prince Albert piercing on his penis. Yeah, I remember oh, that guy too. Yeah. But the guy, the guy that wrote the maxi pad wrote it on a dollar bill, like a US dollar bill. That's so cool. that's why I kept it more. I love that. That's, Ooh, so that's cool. all right. That's cool. Like fans have asked for some weird stuff from I've time seen to some time. Gross shit in my life. I'm sure. I, guess what? I don't want to see your dick. Thanks. Yeah, I remember no. we were doing a signing, Fallon, and some dude pulled his dick out for us to sign. Is and, that a new and, and, and everybody was like, whoa, put that away. And he's like, okay. <laughs> what? What would, why would people think like, okay, sign my baby. That also happened. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember signing sign my baby. Yeah. Sign my prosthetic leg. One yeah. of my Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Sign prosthetic. my baby. Sign my baby. Yeah. Like, and times. then what? Not just once. You would think it would Not be just once. pull your dick out in front of a bunch of teenage girls. That's, Thank you. you for public, Not normal at all. Yeah. Now that person is never allowed near a playground or a merry-go-round again yeah. for the rest of their they're, fucking they're on life. One of those special websites that you, you have to, you know, you can. Where like an ex pops up in your fucking neighborhood yeah. and they're around. Yeah. Ew, fuck that the shit. pedophile directory or whatever they he have. downloaded the app. Uh, when that was a thing, you know, and Did you? we look at, uh, yeah, the sex offender list. There used to be an app. I don't know if there is anymore. There is still. I haven't seen any sex offenders it. around my neighborhood. The U.S. one, we downloaded it and then we would just like kind of like around the venues, we would just kind of look and see where the sex offenders were. <laughs> like, okay, make sure that they're not in yeah, the Make sure they're not here. Yeah. Yeah. No the way. You know is what? They're somewhere off sex offending. They don't have time for you. They don't have time yeah. at all. <laughs> That's what I was saying today. I'm like, I was talking to a friend about this person that like creeps them out. And I was like, don't worry. They don't have time for you. And they're like, why? And I'm like, because they're probably like cutting someone to a, up into a million pieces and using their skin as a flesh coat. <laughs> and she's like, you know what? You're probably right. I'm like, you know what? I probably am. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, the name of my new band, Flesh Coat. <laughs> so, Morgan, you just finished up vocals on Car Chaos. No, yeah, I did. That was after like in, two years, right? Yeah, it was in October. I went to Montreal and I stayed uh, with Christian Donaldson. His family let Justine and I stay there because he has a home studio there. That was um, nice for like an entire week and just every day, just like vocals, 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 some, you some days, 12 hours a day. Um, <sighs> we just, you know, blasted it out. And, and like a lot of uh, <clears throat> like, uh, I would say that like musically the band, like they're, they're like incredible musicians and Justine, especially like, I mean, she's a drummer, but she also does a lot of the, the uh, like symphony stuff in the background. So, you know, it's really uh, technical, eh? yeah, the harmonies are very specific. Like I don't write them, but I, I'm just like, tell me what to sing. And like, you know, there's like, you know, some four or five part harmonies, crazy stuff, like things that I can't even like wrap my head around. Um, but, 
yeah, like it, it was a very intense time, but it was a lot of fun. It was it seems like it was a fun experience for you. Yeah. Yeah. I had a, a really good time and I'm I'm glad that we finally got to do it because I was tired of practicing. <laughs> I was over it. I was ready yeah, to I do bet. the album like right at the beginning of 2020. And it took like I think I practiced for like a year and a half. Like, <laughs> like seriously. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, perfect. I am so ready. But it's cool, because, like, it's cool because like in the process of doing that, like, you know, sometimes when you have the opportunity to explore things in a different way, like you start to change and figure things out. Right. And like the songs obviously would have um, a little bit of a change to them, but my voice as well, it changed. Absolutely. And it evolves over time, doesn't yeah. it? It's, it's and like my screaming voice is like for this band is different and sounds different than it did in Kitty. Absolutely. And, and I, I noticed that. Yeah, Even it's, things it's really that weird. you did with We Are Pigs, I noticed that. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Well, the, the stuff I did with We Are Pigs, it's, I hadn't quite got there yet. Like my goal was to get like, you know, if, like Kitty is here. Like I want Car Chaos yeah. to be here. <laughs> like a little bit lower. Yeah, like I've always just lower. wanted to have a man voice and I'm just a small girl, so it's hard. Like Cookie um, Monster it out. Yeah, yeah, totally. But no, I think uh I think it's it's really different. Like um, but it's super metal and I think kitty fans will appreciate it, but it's I think they not, will too. It's not that, you know what I mean? It's yeah, it's a different genre, but I think that I think that musically they'll be it's adjacent. So it's not now like it's be, being yeah. in the studio, being back in the studio. Let me ask you this. Have, have any of you guys have got Disney plus? No. Mm-mm. Serious question. No. So none no. of you have had the chance to watch get back. No, no, but I know that you do you know see- what the premise of it is, right? So basically when the Beatles made, let it be, they hadn't been together for like a long time. They hadn't mm-hmm. hung out for a long time. So they basically locked them in a fucking studio for three weeks. And we're like, listen, you have three weeks to make this album. It doesn't matter what your personality conflicts are. We have John with Yoko by his side. We've got, you know, people bringing different entourage, you know, in and out. There's different dynamics and people, you know, George leaves the band at one point. There's shit. Mm. But you got three weeks to make an album. And get back is the footage behind it. And I thought... I was like, mm. the Beatles are pretty like standard musicians before I watched that film. I wonder what it was. I wonder what it would be like to now. Cause I remember what it was like when we made spit and we had fun. Like, I will say we had fun. We were a bunch of assholes. We the, were a bunch of obnoxious little footage. shit. Put it lightly. Yeah. And like lightly, some of that footage yeah. did make it into the documentary, but like we, we like uh, there was like, there's one VHS tape. That's all that, that footage. And oh yeah we digitized the whole thing and gave it to Rob and he used clips of it, but like the whole experience of that. Oh, asked. Rob didn't put the full enchilada in there. He's like, yeah. he's like, that scared the shit out of, uh, of me. And I'm like this age now. <laughs> I was afraid of you girls oh, when you were teenagers. Let me tell you like, the, amount of trust, the amount of trust that we, we had and still have in Rob with that is, you know, like you have to, you have to, like you're basically giving somebody all of your secrets it's part and of your life that you know? give away. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Like once in a while, I'll get a quote of like, "Hey, I'm Tanya. I'm 16. I'm single." I'm like, "Shut up." Yeah, oh, right. Man. And like we were like doing our homework and shit. Like, yeah. And like Matt Carol was there, being silly <laughs> yeah, and like okay. singing, like <laughs> pretending to smoke to Cypress Hill, and like, like maybe <laughs> like. Here. It was a it fucking carrot. carrot. It was, it was a carrot. Carrot. Oh no. Yeah, it was a yeah, carrot, was a Mercedes. Carrot. <laughs> oh, man. It was Mercedes. You're right. It was a carrot. Like, yeah. I think I was probably smoking a real cigarette. I'm not gonna lie. But like throwing like, spitballs out the window on like Robin's car. car. Yeah. Here's the guy who's <laughs> making our album. The toilet seat. Yeah. That's like, how the kids. Like I, absolute how dickheads. Did, like adults not kill us. Like, I know. That. I don't know. I think like I think your dad brought a barbecue down to the studio, brought some really good steaks. And it got it got stolen at one point, did it not? No, that was uh that was during our whole never mind. Yeah, after I know what you're talking about, but no, he brought us a barbecue down, he brought some big steaks down, and everything was forgiven. He brought some steaks down that was like this thick, 
They just like, I'll cook dinner for everybody. He's like, and that just totally excuses these these pre pu- 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 pubescent children from being yeah. assholes. Well, like we were off the chain. Like I just oh. like I I but I do feel like there's a part of me that believes that like if we weren't like that, then none of this would have happened in the way that it did. You know what I mean? Like I part, agree. Part of the reason why we even started speaking to Jason Weiner was because we were so outgoing. Like we were in the lobby of that hotel, like screaming at the Moffat yelling at people and like, you know, like flyers and flyers and just being generally weird. And uh, like we harassed Jason Weiner because his hat looked like Jamiroquai and yeah, we took it off of him. We were like, Hey, yeah, which is, yeah. We were like, give us your hat. Yeah, yeah, we and, have like we have pictures of us all like wearing it, and he's just yeah. like going along with it, just but loving the it. Balls, the balls that we had to like, you know, um, just sort of you know take control of a situation, even at the age that we were, you know, and like, yeah, we were like, you know, really, really snotty and really like probably annoying and just like, but we were all in the moment of it all, and I think, and that you know what, I think that we had, to we're help. excited, yeah. We're excited and it's just being that age and it's being excited. And for, I'm sure for a lot of like grown ups or whatever, it probably was annoying. annoying. I don't know how I watched that was foot that footage. And I'm like, I have to shut this shit off. I can't, I'm like, I can't believe this. Even spit in your eye, Fallon. I can't believe that you did a reaction. I fucking died. I know I can't. I I watched a little bit of you reacting to it. I was pissing myself (laughs) because I was because I I don't see myself or any of us like that anymore. We're completely we're different people now. Yeah, of course. But like that is frozen in time forever. And people now quote it like we quote quoted who then now like it was just like I know, dude, I line. see so much spit in your eye, like clips on TikTok, and I'll see clips of you girls doing like whatever. And I'm just like, that's so funny because that's not how they are now. Like it We're all. not like that anymore. I just it's so like, you know. funny. And it's funny, too, because I feel like that uh, that footage was shot right at the very beginning of everything getting really Crazy. exciting. Crazy. And so yeah. you were extra about everything like yeah we were yeah very very extra Extra. about everything you know um like extra buzzy the first first two months of our like first real tours and so everything was new and wild and crazy and like showing off for the camera and and you know that kind of thing and so it it's over the top and yeah i just don't yeah (laughs) it's funny though yeah Oh, well. like we, did, we would say and do any. I, I, I totally forgot there's one part about the bread dick and oh. I was like dying. And I'm thinking like, oh, my I if, if it were to be my children, like <laughs> this is like a window into if I ever had kids and I saw them like putting a dick in their, like a piece of bread in their pants and like dancing around and like all of us like, yeah, bread dicks. Woo! Like, <laughs> That's dude. Imagine it'd be of, over for my kids. It'd be terrifying, over. Terrifying, really. Yeah. But, um, yep. No. <sighs> number one, I'd be like, how many carbs are in that? And then number two, get that out of your pants. <laughs> yeah. Get it out of I, your pants now. It's funny though. Like, I feel like uh, there's definitely like a very special, uh, there was a very special like little uh, sprinkle of like the chemistry of everybody, especially, especially the four of us, even now, like as we're just talking right now, like, yeah you can feel that right like there's something there's something there still you know that that it was the spark of so everything we always have a little buzz be, you know yep, yep. I guess I because, like i don't we still like i it's interesting because we still have like that connection where we can like make jokes about things mm-hmm. and we're all gonna and we just yeah. like yeah 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 yep. we're all we gonna all laugh at it, it. our own we're all gonna get it yeah, yeah. Like, and like, you know, like Fallon was saying, like, we're not those people that now that people think we, you know, like, we're still not, we're not those same people that we were then. We're not those people. No. You know, people, you know, expect that, you know, you're sort of a frozen in time type thing. Um, no. Not those people now, but there well, is flavors still that of those magic, people. You know I mean? Yeah, there yeah. were, we're, yeah. we're definitely. Those- yeah. Flavors of those people. That, those, that part of you, I don't think goes anywhere. Yeah. at all 
Hmm. I think that part is really transformative. And I think it just turns, I think that energy just turns into something else. If not something like better, like for me, at least, I think it's gotten like better. Even when I played on stage with you girls in 2017, I was like Pregasaurus Rex pregnant, but like our energy was even like better than it had been in years. And because yeah. we were all so excited and there was all so much like good energy going into that one place to like mm. play together and that magic and that kind of that four, you know, corners of a box kind of just came together again and click. We didn't Call really have any like corners. huge full practices. Yeah. Yeah. Four no, corners. we didn't really at all. We, but we, it was, no, we didn't jam together. It was like me, you once. and Morgan and no Fallon. It's like, yeah, okay, Fallon, I see how this goes. Okay, Fallon, and yeah. he'll just throw you in the pool. <laughs> and like, yeah, honestly, I sent her some like, stuff. I honestly, remember most of the time when we played together, I was always like shit fucking scared and mm. looking at Morgan like this. <laughs> <laughs> what are we changing? <laughs> shit, what's happening? And I felt, I felt like it was just fine. Like I could just settle yeah. into it and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to hope to fucking God that muscle memory comes back. Yeah, and it, it does. More or less did, but yeah. like, it does. It just felt the, it felt the same, but just a little bit more uh, mature and relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And like, I, I could rock a little bit harder than I really thought. really good too, man. Like it was a good I was show. Like, like, I, damn. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. I made my, I, 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 I sent my mom like, like I was like, watch this. It's on this platform, like the live documentary. And she's like, wow, you guys rocked out really hard. And she's like, you with a baby in your belly. Like I thought it was going to fall out. I'm like, the funniest person to talk to about is of that is Yasmina. <laughs> Why? She will talk to me incessantly about, she's like, I just sat up there in the rafters being like, come on, baby, don't fall out. Don't fall out of Tanya. <laughs> Cause That's like funny. Mercedes, you were right behind me. Like I would have, I would have caught it. <laughs> that would have been her entrance into the world. It would have been metal. Well, her first show, actually, when I first got pregnant with my second, my, my first show was Eagles of death metal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. damn. Mm. So we went That's to go crazy. see that show. We went to go see auntie Jenny go play. And then she no, this is before anyone knew I was pregnant. And Jenny looked at me and went, Are you pregnant? I'm like, <laughs> no. Oh my God. I wasn't even like showing at all yet. Like I was I was like like this much pregnant. Like she's a fucking- Aquarius. It was the dawning into the age of Aquarius, and she knew. Yeah. Yep. And then from then on, I was like, then we all got back like kind of together for the show with the documentary and I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant at the time. What am I going to do? I got to talk to the doctor. Fuck like six me. Months pregnant, like, I was so gone. I'm like, am I going to be so able to do this? So it was. I wanted to do so it. Right? Badass. Yeah. Like there are some photos like where you're like, like kind of in mid jump, like you were doing all these little jumps and we're like, oh God, oh, every <laughs> jump. It's like, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh God. I think she's staying in there. I think it takes a little bit more than that to like shit out a baby, right? Oh, for sure. It does. Like that, my first one obviously was like a C section, it was an emergency. But my my second one, like she was out in 24 minutes. Like I put the pedal to the heavy fucking metal with her. I had just enough time to get an epidural, so I didn't (laughs) feel it. I sneezed, and like the doctor was like, we had another doctor. She put her gloves on, like up to here. She, uh, I don't know. I got a brand new pair of roller skates. The baby came out. She sewed me a new vagina. Bing bong. The end is over. Bing bong. Ding dong. Bing bong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, you know, when they say like they, they get really mad at husbands if they go into the delivery room and they say, mm. oh, put an extra stitch in this bitch. Put in like three extra stitches. I'm like, Damn. what's up? Thank you. Do you have like a residence in plastic surgery? Oh my gosh. Definitely a plastic breast surgeon. (laughs) So yeah. Now that I've been sufficiently tied off. Oh my God. (laughs) No more kids. No more kids for me. I'm done. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, girl. That's good. Uh, You can have all the children for me too. I got the whole world in my hands. Yeah. You have enough, (laughs) you have enough cats. Yeah, yeah. As do you. Mother. I got a few. 
I got a few. One you could day. probably hear one of them sticking their hand under the door. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they're doing? They're Earlier, going, there was a mom, little... Mom, mom, mom. 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 There, was, mom. there was, like, the, the big orange fuckhead, like, earlier was like yes <laughs> when i used to teach yoga here um like during the pandemic when everything was shut down i would teach in here and he yeah. would on camera stick his hands underneath the door and you could see him do it like <laughs> the whole big stupid orange fucking hand would come underneath so the like door. your zoom students are like oh, seeing an yeah. orange cat hand Amazing. I eventually just would have to let him in because he was just so loud. And like, I would be like teaching a really nice, quiet, like yin class. And he would be like, fuck, let me in, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining everybody's vibes. Yeah. And then he'd just try, I'd let him in and then he'd eat the fucking plants. And I'd be like, get out of here, bitch. Yeah. Now, Mercedes, Catherine. I know you didn't go to, to Montreal because you had effed up your back. You're still yeah. doing stuff with the white swan. Am I correct? Yes, yes. 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 Well, what are you again, now? So uh, we just wanted to take a little bit of a breather because we released that record last year. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, I can't even remember what it was called. Um, <laughs> um, that one. Yeah, I've written one record. We you released just, it. Uh, um, pardon? Touch, Taste, and Destroy. Touch, Taste, and Destroy was in 2018. Nocturnal oh. Emissions. Nocturnal, Nocturnal Transmissions. Everybody else knows what it's called, and I don't. So we released Nocturnal Transmission in, uh, I think it was uh, September of 2020. So it was a little over a year ago. Um, yeah. and, and it was awesome. Like, I did not expect it to do as well as it did because we couldn't play any shows or anything like that. And no, everything really- was kind of shut down with show yeah. artists. So we had recorded the record in December of 2019 before anything crazy happened. Yeah. And just as everything, uh, we got the, like the final mixes and everything like that. And the master from Siegfried, um, basically as everything started to shut down. So I just, we kind of just sat on the record for a while and we were like, Oh, what are we going to do with it? This is done. Sure. Uh, then we decided to really, we were just like, fuck it, release it. Um, so right now, uh, Kieran Shane just got married like two weeks yes. ago. Uh, finally, they says they canceled their wedding twice. Oh, oh my God. Got- their wedding was being put off. That way. Just yeah. Did it. It finally. finally. Congratulations. Yeah. So now, uh, now that um, nocturnal transmission is kind of out of the way and we're playing shows again, finally. Um, okay. Like we played a show in, uh, I think it was October. How um, was that? It was great. We played at uh, the Social Bowl and the way that they have it set up. Oh, Palisade. Yeah, they have the stage over top of the bowling lanes. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people there too. Yeah. It was- uh, Apparently it was- that's really popular. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. So we played that and that was the first show we had played in over- two years Mercedes uh, texted me that night and was like I'm in a restaurant it's really weird yeah <laughs> yeah it's weird I bet you it was strange right like yeah it's yeah. probably getting back to being in public after yeah. so long. everybody like, that came to see the show Mercedes were they all like vax like everybody has to be vaccinated. Right, yeah yeah so you yeah. have to have, have a vax pass you have to have your vax pass I think that was before the QR code thing happened but um you had to show your double vax status um, cool. But uh, we have a show coming up in March, which is actually yeah. coming up soon, uh, with a band called Vile Creature, who is um, uh, they're they're like a pretty like a uh, nouveau. I don't even know how to describe them. Like they're kind of doomy, but they did that kitty cover. Yeah, they did a kitty cover. Uh, oh, what cool. song? Pa- Paper doll. They did not. Yeah. Oh yes, I did it hear it. It's yes, I cool. did hear it. It's so it's new. really good. It's like, like slow it's and like, melodic. Yeah. Yeah, so they're, <laughs> they're also like a little bit black metally, which is also yeah. Interesting. That's cool. They're but, like yeah, they're like doom core. Like I did hear that. Yes, I did. Yeah. So they're super cool. Uh, and they asked mm-hmm. White Swan to play a show with us. Or with them rather, um, and then we're just basically uh, gonna start uh, probably in the next couple weeks. Start, I'm gonna start demoing songs. That's um, cool. Songs. And like, I because I have like such a big buildup of, of crap from you know sitting in my yeah. house alone by myself, <laughs> like uh, I have so many voice notes on my phone, it that builds I, up, doesn't it? 
I need to purge. So that'll, that'll be, uh, something that's, uh, and we've never really like, other than the first, you know, couple songs that we wrote, we've never really demoed. It's always been like, Hey, Kira and Shane, come over. I'll play drums. I'll send you guys, uh, riffs and then we can all jam them out and, and piece together songs. But we're, I, I think, I'm thinking I'm going to do it a little differently this time. Uh, Try it different now. Well, shit's about to get really weird. Yeah, shit is about to get really weird. With, well, it just with looks like music, the music is going to get weird. Like it's, I know, it's, I you're what you've been listening yeah. to is going to change it. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's what happens when you listen to something like d- different. It it vastly changes Bro, the way you listen to is yellow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, don't bring me down, Bruce. It's going to sound a lot different. Yeah. And you <laughs> like, found yeah. you've been you let you released your new album. Uh-huh. And then you've been launching new things like left and right on on Patreon, right? Yes. What have so you been doing? I had this really crazy idea that what if um, I I ran a special offer that if people signed up, then I would somehow say people's names in the song. OK. And of course, all these people signed up and I'm like. How the fuck am I going to do this without it sounding <laughs> like the Billy Joel song? Dun, 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 yeah. like, like, stop like, the fire. <laughs> the world is burning. <laughs> like, how am I going to do that without it sounding so strange? So I, I think I came up with the creative solution for that. And then I, um, I recorded it on Monday. Um, like I sent all the stems to Mariana, who I work with, and she like put it all together and then I went in there banged all the guitars out did all the vocals for it and I'm like okay well that's that's done now and so that'll be released to them only at the end of the month and then I'm working on the fourth the fourth album fourth amphibious assault album now fuck that's fun though but like you're like always launching stuff can I hear that song sometime (laughs) I want to hear it So the song, and I'm like, okay, the way that I'm going to, I won't give it too much away, but I wanted it to have a theme. Okay. um, And it's based on a movie. Have you ever seen the movie Event Horizon before? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So it's, it's, it's based on that. And it's like, it has this really weird concept to it that would make it easy for me to say people's names in it, if that makes sense. But I won't, I can't say anything any more than that. Okay, and I, I, and I'm it, intrigued by this. Yeah, like it's really, of course, it's like very 80s. Yeah, oh, obviously. But um, I got this new guitar pedal. Oh my god, it's so it's so fucking awesome. It's a guitar synthesizer pedal. Oh, I, it's the boss one, right? The boss one. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. It it is oh, like it's Chef's kiss. I, it's amazing. I want one guitar pedal bad. ever. I have one, but a, a different, it's not the boss one. I have a different one though. Yeah. I'll take some pictures of them so you can like, cause, cause the, what they do with pedals now is fucking insane. Off the chain. Cause this is, is like, if I don't even need a keytar, I have a keytar, your- but in drop C, which is uh, what cool. loved it. I was uh-huh. like, losing my fucking mind. And in the, in the studio, I'm like, put all the fucking reverb on that. Let's see what happens. Yes. Yeah. Love it. And then and then have it. So, and because your new album, it's it's really enjoyable. Like I listened to it in the bubble bath. Like in the bubble bath. Lot. The bubble bath. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good music to just like zone out to for me. It's great. It's so relaxing. It's, it's uh, super relaxing. I'm very, so- very 80s. 80s. Yeah. It well, is. I, think there, I think there's some like rock elements, like a lot of more like oh, upbeat, sure. kind of punk punky kind of elements to it yeah. too. Uh, yeah 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 like i i wanted it to be something like uh, something that ministry would have come out with in the yeah uh, early 90s kind of thing yeah, yeah, minus yeah. barbecue lighters yeah <laughs> that's out <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> i hope so anyway oh uh, yeah well <laughs> that goes without saying that goes without saying indeed yeah so, I mean, it's Friday night. We got us all girls together yeah. in one place. That was almost that's not an easy thing to do to get us all together at one point. I mean, because we can't all get together because all this shit and all this other shit. You're there. Oh. We're here. I'm here. 
I'm in Wayne's world in the studio. Schwing, just here. If anyone's looking to find you guys, where are they going to find you on social media? Who's going to go first? Where are they they going to find you? Okay. They can find me on Instagram, uh, love underscore in stereo, uh, or the white swan band, uh, at the white swan band on Instagram. Basically any variation of that, you can find me on any platform, uh, including TikTok, but I just really have a creeper account and like, uh, I have a fucking TikTok. I have a TikTok, but it's just like, uh, like, it's like I just kind of creep on people and like make I, videos I, of your cats. I would, you know, I would watch them. I, you know, what? I have an idea for a light, you know, the light ring challenge. I have an idea yeah. with with Thicky McVickersons. Uh, oh shit! Over there. Do it. Um, but uh, and then I also have a podcast that we took a break uh, for that sexy podcast. We took a little bit of a break just because. Um, uh steven wasn't going to be home for a while so yeah, yeah. Uh, and now he is back to being home a little more regularly and we're not quarantining anymore so uh we're actually going to start back up with uh that sexy podcast and you You're can gonna get a little bit more sexy again yeah yeah so basically us reading really terrible oh. erotica um it's so I, good I, though I it's laugh. so good i cry every like every time i I do that podcast. I laugh so hard. I cry just because I couldn't get a breath when I did your podcast, Mercedes. You take uh, user submissions because I we take them. We take them. But I have are weird about. uh, What do you got, Fallon? Can I? Oh, I I can't show it. It's I okay. Don't come for me. All right. I bought it because I wanted some some pictures but not for that reason okay Okay, okay. it's from (laughs) it's from the eight it's i'm not gonna judge you it's from the 80s and it there the 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 stories they have in there are smutty smutty is all hell i was like oh my god look jesus my virgin eyes so bought a playboy from the 70s and it's like vastly different like very much more you know tasteful yeah fine brandy's lifter cigar (laughs) if you want to take pictures of those stories for me like we are i mean all of most of our crazy lords is all over it let me just say I mean, like that okay, kind of- yeah, you need to. The and Fallon, when, you're, when you're not scouting out crazy porn magazines, where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, at, at Fallon Bowman on Instagram and at amphibious.assault uh, on Instagram as well. I'm also on TikTok, Amphibious Assault. Morgan, where, where are you at these Ooh, days? I got too many accounts. <laughs> Um, you can, Bring it. Uh, you can find my, well, do people use Facebook anymore? Yes. I have one. Uh, I have an official Facebook. Uh, I think it's official Morgan Lander official. Uh, Instagram is where I'm probably most, uh, dial M for Morgan is my personal, uh, the kitty official kitty as well. Of course, uh, car chaos official and witch finger podcast, which is my horror podcast with, Yasmina and Megan. You got some new episodes coming out of that. Yes, I am still editing because I'm lazy. Um, But yeah, we have uh, a new episode probably within the next week. Um, Nice. We we did brain damage, which was fun. Elmer, that that was fun. I bet that was. Yeah, it was good. Um, And I don't know that the podcast is great. It's so much fun. I. It's like uh, having a girls' night just yeah but, but you record yourself and you think you're funny and then you you know uh go back you know in a day or two after the hangover is like subsided and you're like let's find out <laughs> were we know funny it, or not or was it this always turns less? out you guys were and are funny just when your chemistry whatever it is when you get together and you watch a movie that you know you're excited about or that you know that you enjoy together you can tell and that translates to the podcast and that's what makes it a good podcast. Just like Mercedes yours with like reading sexy things. Like it's, you're really reading them and those are natural reactions and, and it's organic. And I think that's mm. why it's good. 
And yeah. that's why it's it's funny. And that's why people yeah. want to listen to it. It's listenable. Absolutely. The, the organic aspect of it is always is always cool, because like I, I can say 100 percent that we are the least professional, least no. polished podcast out there. Like we bought some nice microphones, but we barely know what to do with them. We make it happen every time. And people seem to like like it and horror like the 80s horror is the funniest best shit ever and it's just such a fucking fun time so it's a great genre and it's a great thing to talk about i mean and i i'm the one for talking about podcasts i mean i get microphones i don't know 100 percent what to do with them all i know how to do is put them in front of your face and swear i put it in front of my face i swear you can find me every week i'm at the same place i'm always a slave to the fucking gram so you can find me on instagram at 21st century rocker mom I'm there. You can find me on TikTok, which I'm ticking and talking to all the kids who want to talk. Apparently, you can find me at 21st Century Rocker Mom or the real Tanny Candler. You can find me on Twitter. I'll be tweeting on there at just Tanny Candler. I don't do the Facebook thing anymore. And other than that, you find me here every week or on YouTube doing something ridiculous. Hopefully, I want to see you girls back for another episode. Ah. An earlier time. I feel like I feel like it's going to happen soon. I feel like it probably should happen soon. You know, it's it's, it's, it's the holiday season and I feel like giving. You know what? I'm giving away paintings here. You all girls are giving away some of your time to hang out with everybody. I appreciate each and every one of you coming on the show and sharing your time with everybody. It's so nice to hang out with you and see all you girls. Yeah, it's nice. It's lovely to see you. Yeah. We should, we got to get together and do this shit more often. Yeah, absolutely. We don't, we don't and see each other. When in person things can happen again. That would be cool. I'd be things. into that. Yeah. Wait, I'd nice. be into that. Well, come Yay. on, coronavirus. Fuck off so we can get together. Right? And Hurry the fuck up. Let's go. Uh, Speaking of which, our boosters starting, uh, except for you've already had yours, but uh, Fallon, but uh, boosters January. Nice. Beam me up, Scotty. Looks like we're all getting in for our birthdays, ladies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys beam me up, me. Scotty. I'm the only, the only Scotty. <laughs> you got yours for your birthday. I did. I did. Literally. Yeah. My literally got yours for your birthday. In, like a huge rash. Oh, yeah. That's got Moderna worst. arm, yeah. I got Moderna arm for sure. But so, I mean, at least you're actually. you're okay now, and everything's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel f- like a million dollars. Exactly. Bo- beam me up, Scotty. I'm ready to go to space. Yeah. Put all that science. To go to five five G microchip yeah. this bitch. <laughs> Shoot me up with Sputnik. <laughs> I know, right? Let's go, Sputnik. Woohoo! Give me those. Wake up, those Russian vaccine. Wake up, sheeple. That's my favorite Da-da. one right now. Wake up, sheeple. Well, wake up, sheeple. I'm going to get my fucking shot at the doctors in January. Happy birthday yeah. to me, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. It was lovely to see all of you. I can't wait to see you again. Thank you for hanging out with me this week on the show. Thanks, Thank you oh, so much. I'm, I'll talk to you soon. I love you guys. Love, love you too. Bye. Bye.